You may have noticed when generating images in Stable Diffusion that it doesn't do faces very well. And there's two reasons for this. The first one is that faces in general are hard to produce. And that's just because of the amount of symmetry that's required. So achieving that symmetry is quite difficult. And the second reason is that humans in general are very sensitive to faces and it's the first thing we notice in an image. So much so that if you look at a generated image and everything about that image is perfect except for the face, it can actually ruin the whole image. So we do have a couple of techniques to improve faces. So if you go to settings, face restoration, and then click on restore faces, make sure code format is selected, and then click apply settings. Now going back to text to image and making sure the same seed is selected by clicking this button over here. And then by clicking generate. Now the first time you generate your image using the code formers face restoration, it will take a long time. And the reason for that is Stable Diffusion has to actually download the model first before you can use it. So if you go back into your terminal window, you should be able to see a sign saying that it's starting to download the model. And depending on your Wi-Fi speed, this may take quite a while. But after it's done that, using code formers when generating your images is usually a very quick task. Now, if we compare the two images, this one was without face restoration, and this one was with the face restoration, straight away you can see the difference between the faces, and this one looks much more better. So now, if you go back to Stable Diffusion and you go into Settings, you'll notice that we can actually change how much face restoration is applied using the code formal weight. Now, you may be thinking, why don't we just keep this to zero? So it's going to do the max face restoration it can do. But that's not always desirable in certain cases. So sometimes you may notice that it can take away from your image. Now looking at the images that were generated, this was at code format at 0 0.5 and this was at code format at 0. And just comparing these two, I'd say that the code format at 0 was much better. But that doesn't mean you should always use code format at 0 weight all the time. It's usually a case by case basis. Now back in Stable Diffusion, you'll notice that when we were on the settings page, there was another face restoration model. So we have GFP GAN over here. So if you select it and then apply settings. And now if you generate your image. So this was the image we generated using GFP GAN. And this was the image we generated using code format at zero weight. And you'll notice that the code format one looks much better than GFP GAN. But that's not always the case. So like many things, it really is a case by case basis. I've had images which look better using GFP GAN and I have images like this, which looks better using code former. Now back in Stable Diffusion, if you go back to settings and then you'll see the final option and that is move face restoration model from VRAM into RAM after processing. Now what this option is, is not very relevant to restoring your faces. It's more about if you're running low on VRAM, or if you want to save as much VRAM as possible, all this will do is just help that problem and make sure you're using your VRAM efficiently by moving it into RAM. 